Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers. So I'm four wheel driving out here in Lancaster Desert. <clears throat> and, you know, I just was thinking about the, the topic of um, a video I made a couple weeks ago or a week ago about narcissists. And about how it's amazing how like over the last 10 years and even much more so the last five years on how much more um, this term is coming into our vernacular and how we're um, beginning to understand it that much better and about how there was narcissists in the Bible, lovers of themselves, and about how also in Revelation, the Bible says that this will be increasing in the end times. People will become more so lovers of themselves, of themselves and more haughty and arrogant and um, plotting and scheming and seeking revenge for shortcomings and even though I can't eat meat today look what Ozzy gets Ooh, Ozzy um, so you know but um, the devil knows when things are ramping up and when the end is coming and he knows that you know everything he's doing is basically an exercise in futility because he knows he loses in the end. But, you know, he's not gonna go down without a fight and he's gonna win over as many souls and as many individuals as possible before that final due day comes about and he loses. So I think that's what's coming, you know, with the combination of computers and social media and how that gets us to focus so much on not only ourselves, but the the either realistic or the not realistic image that we're portraying and then people getting more into the image that they portray than what's actually truthful about them and what's in their heart so virtue signaling you know we also see a great in in um increase in that and a great rise in that and so you're seeing all these things just like revelation predicted coming true so if you're in a relationship with a narcissistic person or someone that seems to be getting more and more narcissistic traits, believe me, you're in good company. Just look in the Bible. So, you know, and there's good prayers you can find by just Googling it. Good prayers that you can say to change the heart of a narcissist because the Bible talks about them being stiff necked or um, cold hearted. You know, just not open to trying to um, become a better person. I mean, look at the Pharisees. They wanted to take their competition out and basically throw Jesus off a cliff. You know, they don't want... Um... So basically, just take heed in that, you know, if, if you're dealing with narcissists and, and it's really having a negative effect on you, go to the Bible. Know that you're not you're not um, alone, that this is a very, very common struggle uh, between narcissists and empath. Empaths feel sympathy, want good for others, um, try to live their um, authentic uh, life from their heart um, versus those that, you know, it's all about the image. It's all about um, getting admiration and status and feeding feeding their um their soul but feeding the the falseness of it like their pride so take heed we're entering the end end times and that's going to be coming more just going to keep increasing and being more and more common god bless everyone um people can't be trusted people are going to let you down even the best of them, even your, your own children, your own son or daughter will let you down over and over and over. But Jesus Christ will never let you down. He may chastise you, but he'll always be coming back with more love and grace and guidance. And he will get any of us to heaven, any of us that believe in him and proclaim um, that he is our Lord and Savior with our mouth. Amen.